Now at 5.30, a woman is injured in a drive-by shooting in Providence, and we've learned the bullet just missed some much younger victims. With the final debate in the books and the election just weeks away, we'll take a look at what's next for the candidates on the campaign trail. But first tonight, new details in a drive-by shooting that injured one woman in Providence. We first brought you the story on Eyewitness News this morning. And new at 5.30, we're learning that two toddlers narrowly escaped injury after they moved out of the way moments before the bullet came flying inside. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright has more from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Police say a woman in this apartment was shot while she was watching TV on the couch. Two kids who were with her got out of the way just in the nick of time. This is ugly. It's ugly. I mean, two kids could have been killed. A close call for two kids under the age of four who moved out of the way seconds before a drive-by shooting. It happened at an apartment on June Street in Providence around 10:15 Wednesday night. I'm happy that the kids were able to get away from that, but it's like I say, it's scary. I have two kids. I have six kids, and it's hard, for, you know, to, for something to for them, you know, to happen to them. The shooting landed a 27-year-old woman in the hospital with a gunshot wound. The extent of her injuries unknown. This is terrible. I'm afraid now, standing over here talking to you, my daughter, because somebody, my granddaughter, because somebody could ride by and shoot at us. You don't know. Now I'm nervous. Oh, Lord. Police say the shooting may be gang-related and that the suspect fired several rounds from a dark SUV. The vehicle took off, turning left on June Street, then right on Berkshire Street. I hope he gets caught and he does the time that because that's not fun, you know. I prefer, I want him to get caught. Esther Abar, who relies on public housing, toured an apartment at Chad Brown not too far from the shooting. Does this make you think twice about wanting to live here? Yeah, it does. But at the end of the day, sometimes, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. So you still do want to live here? I don't, but I have no choice. But at the end of the day, I have no choice, especially when I'm not working at the moment. Police say the victim was likely not the intended target, that the shooter was after someone else who used to live or visit the apartment. If you have any information that could help catch the shooter, police want you to give them a call. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.